So today we've got my uncle's bike stripped down. She's got a fuel leak on these connections here. So we're gonna upgrade them. And then I'm gonna show you how I did it. That would make a good comment with that that thing about you saying don't worry about scratching it. It's it's gonna be built for, for riding. riding. Yeah. You have to say that again on video and I'll put it in. Yeah. I'm not interested in polishing it. We look after it mechanically. We won't even be sat polishing the thing. <laughs> it's a no show pony this one. Yeah no, you see we've took the panel off, little squeeze in. Get to your tank now. What do, what, what do they call this? It's just where your, your fuel pump is inside. Alright. So we'll take this panel off and we'll get to your leaky connection. Check that out, might be a clip missing. Find a way to get in there. You can see 
I'll link it around that connection there. I'm going off. Don't need to pull that bit out of there. Got to remove that now. Next job is I'm going to remove this so I need to get this clip off. Pressure off. There you go, rough. So this is your connector. Just goes in there. Push that there. Pop it up. So these are the parts what got supplied. Um, this guy was a nice guy. He, uh, some sorted out with the right parts were needed. So these are the uh, the metal upgraded hose clamps and the sealant. So while all the panels off, I think I'll uh, take this out, give the air filter a check. It's probably overdue. So we'll uh, get these fuel clamps put on, um, not too bad to do so far, these little clips are a bit stiff, and it's the updated uh, pump with the metal ringing, so there's the new connector, old clamp, just goes on there like that. Try and position the amp pipe so it, it falls naturally onto it coupling. Next I've got some of this sealant to go around here then you put it in the tank. I believe you leave it 24 hours to set before you, you prime your fuel system. to get that in there so from what I've read is you do it hand tight and give it a quarter of a turn and let it set for 24 hours that's it, um, tighten down and give it a a good uh, like quarter of a turn so it feels snug um, and I've managed to get the clip to the left hand side so it's accessible put a bit of lubricant on that whole ring that's it clipped in next is to remove this clip here and replace it this time So I'm going to have to remove the tank because it's, it's too hard to get to the clamp so I'm going to take these air vents off and remove the tank.
Now I've dropped the crank back a little bit. You can get to clip a bit better. And uh, to, the, to the clamp, the hose clamp to remove this. You can disconnect your, your wires if you want to totally remove the tank. I've just lifted it back a little bit to get access to it. That's one fitted. Let's find uh, using these to get between the clips. Helps. There's probably some sort of like hack to get these clips apart. It seems to work. Clip out that way. Oh, clip removed. We'll put the new one in. I was fine putting the clip on first. Like that. Get it positioned. And then push it on. Helps. I'm going to try and put it back on the same angle so you can get to it all right. It's probably worth rechecking these old clips after they've settled a while. So there you are, your clips there. Usually put a bit of Lubricant out or ring. Pop these clips out. a little bit stubborn so it's worth spraying up first and these little clips just push in and then slide out pull them all the way out it slides out like that yeah it's due to air filter We'll change that. 